Good morning, San Diego. 736 is now the sign. Good morning, San Diego. Hey, listen up. When you send your kids off to school, you want to be confident that they're in good hands, right? That they stay safe. But sometimes things, well, they can get scary. Just last week, for example, an elementary school in Otay Mesa, do you remember this, uh, was put on lockdown because of a nearby police standoff. Now, no one was hurt, and that is great to hear, but it ends up, you know, asking, you know, it ends up bringing up a lot of concern, especially among us parents. How do we make sure that our schools are equipped to keep our kids safe in case of an emergency situation? Well, that is kind of what we're, we're touching on this morning. I want to introduce you to our guest. Uh, our guest is Lee Mandel. He is a security expert. You are CEO of Intralogic Solutions. He's here in town. Uh, good morning to you, Lee. Morning, nice Elizabeth. to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Now, you're, you came into town. You're, you're over in New York, in yep. the New York area. Uh, you came into town because there's a big uh, chief of police convention that's, that's here in San Diego. So I'll ask you about that in just a sec. But this is really interesting. I know as a parent, I'm always concerned. It's always in the back of my mind. Are our kids safe in school? What is this new technology? Well, it's scary. After Sandy Hook Elementary, a lot of the schools were looking at what they could do to really offer security solutions. So mm -hmm. we came out with a way to interact the schools with the police departments. The challenge I always find is really seconds matter during an active shooter situation or a lockdown situation. And the gap I always found was getting that response as quick as possible and getting the information into the first responders' hands. So we built an automated lockdown technology that has a panic button that wirelessly connects right to the local police department, gives them access to interactive maps, floor plans, live cameras, and even enables them to open and close the doors remotely. Wow, that's interesting. So instead of people at the school having to pick up the phone and call 911, call police, yeah. and say, we've got a situation, you're talking about something that is installed on, on the school campus, and with the touch of a button of some sort, it alerts police and does an automatic lockdown. Automatic. Yeah, we, we actually sell the technology nationally through a whole distribution network. And we started out in New York, we opened branches around the country, and now we're distributing this nationally, this technology. It really just saves that time because what we find is a checklist. When you have a lockdown, yeah. you have to pull out that checklist, say, what do I do first, second, third? We just want to automate that process because, God forbid, there's an active shooter in the building. You're not thinking about, I have to make the announcement, I have to text the parents, call the teachers, let people know not to come back in. We just want to hit that button, press it, and activate it automatically. Sure. Um, so, so how does it work? I mean, your school districts have to. Uh, I, I purchase this technology. Is that is it per school district? Well, it's or? interesting. It's an app that's actually on the phone, so you can see it on the phone over oh, here. Oh, look at that! And they can actually just hit this button. So we actually offer this technology through the huh. police departments. We also tie it in with the local authorities. So some schools purchase some of the on-site technology, but right. a lot of the interaction with the police is typically purchased by the state or by the police department that we're working with. So that's now they have this technology available. They share it with the schools. And the great thing about it is the schools, no matter what technology they have, a lot of schools say, I don't have a lot of cameras. I don't have card access. We can mm -hmm. interact all this technology together. We typically like to go out to the schools. We perform what's called a TTVA. It's a free technical threat vulnerability assessment to kind of see where those vulnerabilities are. Wow, isn't that, isn't that interesting? So everyone, you know, if you're like a teacher or someone in the office, you have that app on the cell phone is just a matter of clicking. Just clicking, clicking the button the and the police are on their way. This does an automatic dispatch, two-way communication with the police, live floor plans, cameras, interactive maps, Very and it ties it all together automatically. And have we seen, that? has anyone here in the San Diego purchased this type of technology? We Can have, you say? Uh, well, we have a large distribution network, so I'm sure our technology is in use at local schools. We've been getting a ton of interest in this area, which is one of the reasons why we spent about a week here so far, plus the good weather, obviously, coming from wow, New York. Wow, yeah. So we spent some time here really just talking about the technology and interacting with some of the school districts and mainly the police chiefs to really push this technology mm -hmm. and how effective it is. Yeah, very good. Very interesting, uh, tech, new tech, the new technology. Anything that, to help keep our uh, school safe, that's for sure. And, of course, that big conference, yep. the International Chiefs of Police Conference. It actually starts today, by the way, yep. over at the convention center. And you, so you're going to be in town for probably midweek? Yeah, we've been here since last Wednesday. We'll be here till it's coming Wednesday. My wife wants to stay a lot longer. She loves the great weather. So. I know. San Diego <laughs> we'll is pretty back. awesome, yes, I must say. Lee Mandel, thank you so much for thank sharing you. that information with us. We appreciate it. Appreciate you having All me right. on today. Thank Sounds you so good. much. Have a great day.